Welcome, welcome back guys, welcome to my lab. In the first episode of Sulfuric Acid, you guys saw how we experimented with various things like milk, lemon and chicken. That was fun, wasn't it? So let's try something else today. First, we'll experiment with a flower. Take a beaker and pour in sulfuric acid till the half mark. Now, grab your freshest favorite flower and dip it into the beaker. Do you observe how it wilts almost instantly and turns into like this black liquid? Well now, let's try the same with a sponge. Take your Petri dish and place a sponge in it. Take a beaker of sulfuric acid and slowly pour it onto the sponge. Slowly, guys. As you pour more acid, the sponge continues to disintegrate. Next up, matchsticks. Pour sulfuric acid in a beaker and dip the head of a matchstick into the acid. And we mean only the head. Hang on to the wooden part carefully. Now watch how within just a few seconds it automatically bursts into flames. Pretty sight, huh? Moving on, take a tissue paper roll in a Petri dish and with a pipette, add some sulfuric acid onto the tissue roll. This acid is all about mass destruction, huh? While well, the once clean white tissue is now a black bubbling lump. Woo, this is the kind of stuff that gets me so excited. Sulfuric acid reacts similarly with almost all compounds. Though the reaction looks similar to burning stuff up, it isn't quite that. The main difference being when you burn anything that has carbon in it, one of the resulting gases released is carbon dioxide. But with sulfuric acid, the carbon from the compounds is isolated into its purest form and never released into the atmosphere. So whatever black stuff you see after every experiment, that my friends is pure carbon. And that's it guys, I will see you in our next episode. But make sure you guys give me a like, subscribe and hit us with your comments. Bye!